Hey everyone, this is Steve from Metaslider. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to build an accessible slideshow for your WordPress site. Making an accessible website basically means making your website viewable and understandable by as many people as possible. My first tip involves making just a small modification to the way your slideshows normally work. You're looking at a typical slideshow here. Every two or three seconds, it moves on to the next slide. This constant movement can be confusing to some people who may need more time to understand the slide. If there's captions, they may need to read the captions. And so I recommend adding a pause button if you do want autoplay on your slideshow. That can be done by going to the Metaslider link in your admin toolbar, clicking on Edit New Slideshow, and one of the settings on the right side of your slideshow screen is a play pause button. I'm going to enable that. I'll click save. And when I refresh the slideshow, you'll be able to see the difference. Down there in the bottom left corner, there's a play pause button. So if people want the slideshow to move automatically, they can click that button. Or if they want it to stop, they can click the pause button. Now this is very closely related, so I'll make it part of the first tip. It's also good to make your slides move slowly across the screen. So rather than each slide dashing in and out every second or so, you can go to the admin screen for your slideshow and there's a setting called slide delay. It's set to 3000 milliseconds or three seconds at the moment. It's not a bad idea to set that to a higher number and also the transition between slides as well. Basically this means your slideshow will move more slowly. And if people do want it to stop completely, they can also press the play or pause button. Let's see what that looks like now. Okay, the first slide is up there for quite some time. And then eventually, after about six seconds, it moves on. So tip one, add a play pause button and make sure your slideshow is not moving too quickly. So I've given my slideshow a quick refresh for the second tip. I have a purple slide, a white slide, a black and slightly colorful slide, a light blue slide. There's a variety of different colors here. I would recommend if you are building your slideshow, think carefully about the colors you have and to try and be consistent. One reason for this is that strong color contrasts make your slideshow much easier to see. Let me show you a bad example. If I go to the admin area of this slide, I can go to change the colors. I might decide to have really dark navigation elements here. So I've changed the arrows and the navigation to be black. That should be fairly easy to see. It should stand out, right? Okay, it's not too bad. Definitely pretty good on a white background there. Okay, now we run into a problem. See on the left side? It's a black arrow on a black background. And the play and pause sign that we have here is also black. These navigation elements are also black on a black background. The same can also be true if you flip the color scheme, I'm going to go back to the admin area and I'm going to choose a lighter theme. I'm going to choose clarity this time. And for this theme, if I change the navigation to white and I save that and check the slideshow on the front of the site, you can see that the navigation here is white on a white background. That's not helpful. So my first tip is to be careful with autoplay and make sure you can disable the autoplay feature and make your slides move slowly. My second is to make sure that all the elements on your slide are high contrast. It's very easy to see where the arrows are. It's very easy to see where the navigation is and it's very easy to see where the caption is. Tip three is also illustrated on this screen, although perhaps a little imperfectly because of the colors. Let me fix that quickly so you can see them. I'll change the 
the color of the arrows and the navigation to more of a meta slider orange. And now, when you take a look at this slideshow, you can see the arrows on the left and the right. You can see the navigation elements. You can see the play and pause button. Tip three for accessibility is to make these elements on your slideshow very clear and obvious to see. This accessibility tip builds on the previous two. If you have controls which are visible and allow people to have control of the slideshow, they get a better experience. They can decide when they want to move on to the next slide, or perhaps if one moved on too quickly, they can decide to move back again. They can decide to play or pause the slideshow. If you have controls, which are big and visible, and ideally outside the main slideshow area, rather than overlapping it, that's the ideal way to display your slideshow. These aren't the only kind of controls that we offer in Metaslider. If you go to the Metaslider admin area and go down, on the right side, you'll see an accessibility area and you can enable keyboard controls for your slides. This allows people who want to, to use their keyboard, perhaps the, the forward and back arrows, to navigate through your slideshow. Finally, tip four is to try and use a good amount of text, not just as a caption on your images, but also for the alt text. Under the SEO tab for each slide, you're going to have the ability to set the alt text. This is my title text. This is my alt text. This is what people will see if they have the images disabled. And quite a lot of people do in order to make the site load more quickly, or perhaps the images just are not relevant to them at all. They may not be able to see them clearly. So having clear title text and alt text is super helpful. And if you want to add captions to describe what's going on, that will help as well. Captions are available for images and for videos as well. So this is just a quick overview to help you make your slideshows accessible to as many people as possible. If you want to dive deeper, we have a blog post on our site called How to Build an Accessible WordPress Slideshow that goes into this in even more detail. If you want to try and build your own accessible slideshow, head over to wordpress.org and grab a copy of the Metaslider plugin. It is the best and easiest way to build an accessible slideshow for your WordPress site.